Home Links 1-11 is all about line segments, lines, and rays. So you should be looking in your journal so that uh, you have some ideas about things to help you. You can also look at the little um, cheat sheet that we made with all of the pictures of line segments, lines, and rays. So number one says it lists List at least five things in your home that remind you of line segments. Remember, line segments are pieces of lines. They're a segment of a line. They have an end point on each end, so a beginning and an end. So look around your home and find straight lines that have a beginning and an end. Right now, I'm sitting in my kitchen, and as I look around, I see the windows and the window panes, the little pieces of wood inside the window. They are line segments. They have a beginning and an end and can be measured. My refrigerator also has some line segments. The doors of the refrigerator uh, have, are straight, and they can be measured. They have a beginning and an end. When I look at the wooden floor, I see that between each board there is like a crack that could be a line segment because I could measure it. It's straight and it has a beginning and an end. You should have some things listed that you found around your home that remind you of line segments. Maybe a piece of thread. Maybe a wire stretched out that has a beginning and an end and can be measured. Now number two says use a straight edge to complete problems two and three. So you're going to want to grab a ruler or something to make straight lines. Letter A, draw and label line EF. Okay, so a line goes on forever in each direction. A line cannot be measured, so to represent that, I'm going to put arrows on each end of this line to show that this line doesn't have a beginning or an end. It goes on forever in both directions. can't be measured. Now I have to label it, so I'm going to put point E here and point F here. Okay, line EF. Now draw and label line segment EF. So line segment EF is going to be similar. However, line segments do have a beginning, do have an end point, and they can be measured. I'm going to label this EF. Okay, so explain how your drawings line EF and line segment EF are different. So just looking at this, those two, the line has arrows on both ends and the line segment does not. Okay, those arrows, remember they tell us that a line goes on forever in both directions. The line segment tells us there's an end point and a beginning point and it can be measured. So, how are they different? The line has arrows on each end while the line segment has endpoints. Okay, number three. Draw and label ray, SR. Okay, so I'm going to start by using my straight edge. A ray, remember, has one end point and then goes on forever in the other direction. It also cannot be measured. Because this is ray, SR, the first letter, S, is my end point. So S, and then I'm going to put another point on this ray, R. Letter B, Anita says ray SR can also be call, called ray RS. Do you agree? Explain. The answer to this is no, I do not agree with Anita. 
The reason is if it were ray rs, then the end point would be the r because when labeling rays, the first letter is always the end point. So, do you agree? No. Explain. A ray's end point must always be listed first. when naming a ray. Okay, number four. Number four here we have a trapezoid. Looking at this, it says name the parallel line segments. Well, if I look, Parallel. Hmm. Two parallel lines are lines that never intersect. So if I look here, line SW, or line segment SW, I should say, if I were to extend that line and then I would extend line XT or line segment XT, they would eventually cross. Now, if I would extend line segment WX and extend line segment ST, they would never cross. So these two line segments, top and bottom, are parallel. So to name them, line segment WX, remember to abbreviate it, we write WX with a line over top of it, or it could also be line segment XW, because when naming lines and line segments, you do not have to start with any particular letter. So line segment WX is parallel, which means it will never intersect or cross, to line segment ST. I'm going to put that little line segment above, or you could also name it line segment TS. Okay. And then at the bottom, we have some practice problems. Subtraction, you should be showing all of your work here. Four ones minus eight ones. Can't do it. Eight ones is larger, so I'm going to borrow from the tens. Turn that into five tens and add ten here. Fourteen minus eight, six. Five tens minus four tens is one ten. Nine hundreds minus three hundreds is six hundred. Six hundred sixteen. Two ones minus seven ones I can't do because seven is bigger than two, so I need to borrow a ten. 12 minus 7 is 5. 5 tens minus 9 tens I cannot do because the 9 is larger than the 5. So I have to borrow from the hundreds. So now I have 15 tens minus 9 tens gives me 6 tens. 5 hundreds minus 4 hundreds is 100. 165. And last, 3 ones minus 1 one is 2 ones. 2 tens minus 9 tens I cannot do. So I must borrow. This becomes 3 hundreds. Add 100 here. 12 minus 9 is 3. 3 minus 4 I cannot do, so I must borrow a 1,000. 13 minus 4 is 9. And 1 minus 1 is 0, so my answer is 932.